Hello everyone, welcome to story time. This week's theme is Halloween, since this Saturday is Halloween. So are we ready to get started with our song? Fist up, open and shut them, open and shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Put them in your lap. Clap, clap, creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Open and shut them, open and shut them, to your shoulders fly. Then like little birdies, let them flutter to the sky. Falling, 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 almost to the ground, ground, ground. Quickly pick them up again and turn them round and round. Faster, 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 slower, 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 slower. Faster, 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 clap. So the first story that I'm going to read today is called the Problem with Not Being Scared of Kids. It was written by Dan Richards and illustrated by Robert Newbecker. So does that look like a monster? Kind of looks like an octopus to me. But he's got sharp teeth. The Problem with Not Being Scared of Kids. The Problem with Not Being Scared of Kids is... They don't want to hang out with us. He's running away. Sleepovers end early. What would you do if there was a monster in your bed? <laughs> Bus rides are boring. Oh, look at that. He's tipping the whole bus because he's so heavy. Always being it grows old. He's having a hard time tagging any of them because they stay so far away. Holidays get personal. Reading some books. Being helpful doesn't really help. Look at his hair. It's kind of silly. Sticking straight up. Sharing is a letdown. Claws and crafts don't mix. Would you eat ice cream with an eyeball in it? They're having a hard time doing the crafts because the claws are so sharp. Kind of like scissors. They just cut everything before it's meant to be cut. Snowball fights become one-sided. Human cannibals have to be human. Even when all you want is to fit in, you don't. And just when you're ready to give up, oh, look at how sad they are. Someone comes along who changes everything. What's that? You're not scared of us? No problem. Oh, well, now they're having a really fun time at the beach. 
The end. Our second story is called Mary McScary, written by R.L. Stein and illustrated by Mark Brown. There's Mary McScary. She does look pretty scary, doesn't she? Mary McScary. Meet Mary McScary. She likes to be scary. She doesn't shout boo. She shouts boo. Beware of Mary McScary. Mary scares her dad at breakfast. Mary scares her mom at lunch. Is Mary scary at dinner? You betcha. Beware of Mary McScary. Mary McScary has fun scaring dogs. She likes to scare goldfish, too. Mary's so scary, she can scare a balloon. Beware of Mary McScary. I never knew you could scare a balloon. Mary can scare just about everyone, except Harry McScary. Harry is Mary McScary's cousin. Harry is coming to visit. Harry does not find Mary scary. Will Mary scare Harry? Today is the day I will finally scare Harry. I can't wait to make him scream. I wonder what she's gonna do to try to scare her cousin. Mary gets ready. She puts on her scariest, hairiest costume. She opens the door with a roar. But Harry's not scared of Mary. Nice hairdo, Mary. Well, that didn't work. Wonder what else she'll try. Mary McScary tries again. Maybe giant spiders will scare Harry. Look out, giant spiders. Aw, I love spiders. So cute and cuddly. Hmm. I'll show you something scary, Harry. Well, that didn't work either. Now she's got to come up with a whole new plan. Watch out, gorilla! Wild and ferocious gorilla. That is a pretty scary looking gorilla. Do you think he's going to be scared this time? Whee! Mary McScary knew this just wouldn't do. Harry is not scared of that gorilla. He's having fun with him instead. She's going to have to try something else. I know. Slippery, slimy snakes for Harry. Now that's scary. I would be so scared if I saw all the little snakes in my house. Snakes frighten me a lot. You guys give the best hugs. I'll get you, Harry. Wow, Harry really doesn't seem to be scared of anything, does he? He's a brave little boy. I'm being eaten by a giant hungry hippo. Help! Don't try this at home, kids. Do you think the hippo's gonna work? Will she finally be able to scare her cousin? Gucci Gucci Coo! I could tickle a hippo all day. Nope. That didn't work. I wonder if there's anything at all that would scare him. 
I give up. But wait, there's only one thing left to do. I think she came up with one last plan. Let's see. You win, Harry McScary. Nothing scares you. She turns to kiss him. I bet he is afraid of that kiss. He doesn't look very happy, does he? <laughs> Eek! I told you I was scary. Beware of Mary McScary. That's silly, isn't it? He wasn't scared of anything that was scary, but he sure was scared of that kiss. <laughs> and our last story for today is Scaredy Cat Splat, written and illustrated by Rob Scotton. Do you guys know who Splat is? Have you seen him before? He's that black cat, Splat. Scaredy Cat Splat. So he's a scaredy cat. So that pretty much means he's probably afraid of everything. He's the opposite of Harry. Mom, cried Splat, there's a scary spider on my jack-o'-lantern. He's small and hairy with really funny eyes. Splat's voice wobbled with worry. But you're small and hairy with really funny eyes, said his mom. So he's scared of that little spider. That spider doesn't look so scary, does it? Not so scary, right? He kind of looks friendly. Splat thought for a moment. But I haven't got egg eight legs, he replied. If you had, maybe you'd be a scary spider too, teased his mom. Splat made a scary spider face. Splat's mom caught the spider under a glass jar. Splat looked closely at the spider. It didn't look so scary now that it was trapped. There's his scary spider face. And there's the spider trapped in the glass container. Can I take the spider to school for Halloween? Asked Splat. We've all made jack-o'-lanterns and everyone is dressing up in costumes and Mrs. Wimpy Dimple is going to tell a ghost story and there's a prize for the scariest cat and I want to be the scariest cat. So please, can I take the spider to school? Please, he added, without taking a breath. Okay, said his mom. Where's your Halloween costume? asked his mom. Splat pulled a broom from the closet and sat astride it. Aha, look at me. I'm a scary witch's cat, cried Splat, racing around the kitchen. You certainly are scary, said his mom. So he's going as a witch's cat. That's a pretty good costume for a cat. Then disaster struck. Splat tripped over his tail and with a crack, the broom handle snapped in two. His scary witch's cat costume was ruined. Now I've got nothing to wear, Splat groaned. Even Seymour couldn't console him. So he had an accident with his costume. Now he's very sad. And his friend Seymour is a little mouse there. He can't even make him happy. He's so sad about his costume. Splat's mom had an idea. She stuffed some old socks with scrunched up newspaper and tied them to Splat with string. There, she said. Splat looked in the mirror and jumped back with a squeal. Ooh, I scared myself, he said. He looked again, and this time he smiled. Look at me, he cried, waving his sock legs. I'm a big, scary sock spider. That's a pretty neat costume, right? A sock spider? <laughs> pretty easy, too. Splat placed his jack-o'-lantern and spider on his wagon and set off to school. On the way, he met Spike dressed as a mummy and Plank dressed as a skeleton. They're pretty scary, said Splat. Seymour nodded and trembled a little. 
And he's ready to go to school with all his stuff. And there's his friends. But I'm scarier, said Splat. Splat made a scariest spider face and growled. Grrr. Spike and Plank didn't even blink. Instead... So I guess they're not scared of spiders. Boo! cried Spike. Boo! cried Plank. Oh, they do look pretty scary. I wonder if they're going to scare Splat. Do you think he's going to get scared of his friends? Splat yelped and jumped high in the air and landed in a heap. Oh, Splat sighed. Spike and Plank are both scarier than me. Seymour nodded and trembled a little bit more. I'll never win the prize for scariest cat, said Splat. So he got really scared. And now he's feeling a little upset because he wanted to win the costume contest for being the scariest. The sock spider, the skeleton, and the mummy continued on their way to school. In class, everyone showed their jack-o'-lanterns. Splat's jack-o'-lantern made everyone laugh. Oh, Splat sighed, I'll never win the prize for scariest cat. Seymour shook his head. Hmm. Everyone placed flashlights in their jack-o'-lanterns, and Mrs. Wimpy Dimple turned down the lights and whispered in her best ghost story voice. In the dark, dark wood, there's a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there's a dark, dark room. In the dark, dark room, there's a dark, dark box. And in the dark, dark box, there's a... What do you think's in the box in the dark room? She's a good spooky storyteller, huh? Ghost! Mrs. Wimpy Dimple cried. The class jumped with fright. Splat was so startled his tail whipped around and sent his jack-o'-lantern spinning through the air. And what goes up must come down. Splat! You see where his jack-o'-lantern landed? It's right on his head. Unable to see anything, Splat stumbled around the classroom. Everyone shrieked as the pumpkin head glared at them and made strange woo-wooing noises. Woo! Oh, that is super spooky, isn't it? I wonder if they realize that that's Splat or if they think it's a ghost. They look really scared. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple turned on the lights and lifted up the wayward jack-o'-lantern. The shrieking turned to laughter as Splat fell out. Calm down, calm down, hushed Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Now class, who should win the prize for being the scariest cat? Who do you think might win that prize for being scariest cat? Splat! They all cheered. He won the prize afterward. And all because of a silly mistake. That's kind of funny, isn't it? All right, so now for our song. I, I bet most of you guys have heard this song, Five Little Pumpkins. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, good folk, beware. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. And the fifth one said, 
Let's have some fun. Ooh, went the wind. And out went the light. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. So I hope you guys enjoyed my stories and my song today. And I wanted to let you know that this Saturday at the library, we are having a grab and go trick or treat event. So you should come to the library this Saturday between 10 and one to get a special bag with a craft, some candy, a free book and some stickers and some other fun stuff. So I hope I see some of you this Saturday. Ready for a goodbye song? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you have a very happy and safe Halloween. Bye.